Understandably, the shooting is incredibly tough on the family, police department, and Rio Rancho community. Action 7 News anchor Angela Brower is live in Rio Rancho this morning where the shooting took place. Angela, we understand there's quite the memorial out there this morning. Yeah, Marissa and Todd, even into the wee hours of this morning, when it was still dark out, we saw people coming out here and leaving flowers and cards and candles, patches, you name it, for Officer Brenner and, off, off, of course, his family as well. Now, like you said, this is hitting a lot of people really hard. Hundreds of people actually turned out last night for a candlelight vigil at Haynes Park. At that candlelight vigil, they prayed together not only for Officer Benner's family, but also for the Rio Rancho Police Department. Police Chief Michael Geyer said the department is coping with this the best they can. That seeing how big of a crowd that was there last night is supportive. They feel hope from that. Officer Greg Benner's wife also spoke at that vigil. She was obviously emotional, so she only just said a few words. I just want to thank you all for coming out here tonight. That's the amazing support from the community and the amazing support from all his brothers in blue and to all our family and to myself. Thank you so much. Now, people who live here, Todd and Marissa, they say they live in Rio Rancho because they feel safe. This is the very last thing they ever expected to have happen here. Reporting live in Rio Rancho this morning, I'm Angela Brower, KYT Action 7 News.